Hello and welcome to our next video about hydraulics. Last time we talked about hydrostatic things. Now we're talking about hydrodynamic things. Okay. First thing we're going to talk about in hydrodynamics is to continue the equation. Okay. Continue the equation. It's not very hard to understand. At least the continue equation itself. Yeah. Then we're talking about a little bit the Bernoulli topics huh? this might be a little bit different however I will show you let's start simple let's start simple let's say we have some sort of tube then suddenly the tube or suddenly the tube is changing its diameter so here we have a big diameter and here we have then a small diameter this should be our tube Let's make it look a little bit more technical. Okay. So let's say we have a certain point in time. Here are liquid particles. Also here are liquid particles. Here we do have the area A1. This here is the area A1. This is measured in square meters, of course. Here we have the area A2. This is also measured in square meter. And I think it's obvious, it's smaller. Yeah? It's smaller. It should be around, around tube. Then we have a point in time, two. Second point in time. We move to here. So, in this time, we move this volume. We move with a certain velocity, V1, and this is measured in meters per second. Okay. And the volume. We have moved yeah, this volume. This is actually yeah, V1, A1 multiplied by V1. So this is square meters multiplied by meters. This is given in cubic meters per second. So actually this is not a volume. This is even a volume flow yeah, or often referred to as Q. Volume flow. How many liters or cubic meters per second are running through. Okay. Now we come to the big question. Huh? Million dollar question. Nah. One cent question. Huh? If here is running, let's say, one liter per second, huh? how many liter per second are running here? Nah. If there is no leakage, it's also one liter. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. If here is one liter, here must also be one liter. If here is more than here, we have some very leakage. If here is more than here, we have a strange situation. Yeah. <laughs> Just dripping inside and on the other end. No, of course, of course this is not working. Okay, so we would need the same volume here, but we have less area. So in the same time, we moved a little bit further. Yeah? So that this volume, this moved volume here, is exactly the same. So here we have Q2, V.2. This is area 2 multiplied by V2. So we have a second, a second velocity here. Now we said if these two must be equal, yeah, this means A1 multiplied by V1 is A2 multiplied by V2. This means V1 divided by V2 is A2 divided by A1. That's the continuity equation. Should be equal. 
Now we accelerate it. Actually, we actually accelerate it, right? Hmm. Don't we need energy to accelerate some mass? Of course, we need energy to accelerate some mass. Can we produce energy? No. Can we destroy energy? No. We can transfer energy. We can change the energy form. But we're how? How? Uh, here, a certain Mr. Bernoulli helps us. Yeah. So, the, every energy, yeah, specific energy, energy by uh, kilograms, yeah, equals uh, the velocity energy, so the kinematic energy. This means v squared half uh, by always by kilo, yeah? uh, plus, and now the potential energy, P divided by the density, yeah? and plus the height energy. Yeah? It's also potential part, yeah? but it's from the sea level. Yeah? So, G multiplied by the sea level. Hmm? This must remain constant. Because I cannot produce or destroy energy. This means if the velocity is now getting higher, something else here has to change that this is constant. So let's write it. Yeah? We have V1 squared half plus P1 plus Z1. Yeah? And this must exactly be the same like here because the energy stays the same. What's with the sea level? The sea level is the same. So Z1 and Z2 are the same. So these two terms, zack, zack, weg, yeah, gone. Why? Because I simply bring them to the other side and that's it. So what is left is V1 squared half plus P1 divided by the density. Yeah, V2 squared half plus P2 divided by the density. And if this shall be constant and the, the uh, velocity is increasing, yeah, then the pressure must drop. If this is getting bigger, this is must get slower, that, uh, slower, smaller, smaller, then that these two things are equal. Yeah. So here velocity is small, velocity is high. The pressure here yeah, is high, the pressure here is small. And the pressure, of course, is measured by in uh, Newton per square meter. Pascal. That's it. Yeah? Here we have even how much difference there must be. Yeah? Attention, this working. Uh, squared. Yeah? So if we have double the, because we have half the area maybe, yeah? then we double the speed and the pressure is dropping not to half, yeah? but to half squared, which means to a fourth part. Yeah? Yeah. That's the continuity equation. I hope this is clear. I mean, it's clear if you have a big tube and the same water running through it, it must can run gentle and then you narrow down the tube and then it must be fast. And in the same amount or even more amount, the pressure must drop. These are the two things which are necessary to understand the next few things. Well, not the next video. The next video is about uh, streaming. Yeah? Here we just said, okay, there's a certain velocity. However, next time we're talking about how this velocity is distributed over the whole area. Yeah? There are different possibilities there. Yeah. yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>